Paul said it, but Jesus didn't say it. Does that mean we don't have to obey it? Hey, smart Christians, there are some passages that are controversial, and because they're controversial, those that disagree with them or don't like them would like to find a way out. One of the passages that we're speaking of has to do with Paul in 1 Timothy telling women not to preach or to teach or have authority over men. Now, a couple things come up. One, they'll say that this was just only happening in that particular church. However, Paul was not addressing a church, so that's a problem. We'll come to that in a second. And then one of the things that comes up, and you see it more and more, is that Paul was making the statement, but not Jesus. Well, we got a problem with that. We have a huge problem with that if you're going to say that, yes, Paul said it, but Jesus didn't. So therefore, we don't have to listen to it. Because if that's the case, then there are a lot of doctrines. There are a lot of things that we talk about that Jesus just did not say that Paul brings up, that Peter brings up, that James brings up, that John brings up. What are you going to do now? Now, the thing is, though, people are going to say, well, wait a second. When Paul makes a statement on some things, we take those things, but it's when he makes a statement that I say it. And in particular, one passage, I say it, but not the Lord. Let's go to the first passage that causes the problems. This is 1 Timothy 2.12. But I do not allow a woman to teach or exercise authority over a man, but to remain quiet. And it's this part where it says, I do not allow. Paul is saying, I don't allow, not I allow. A woman. So is this saying that this is Paul saying, no, this is me. I don't want you doing so. He's just giving a suggestion that it's just for them or it's only Paul's kind of admonition, but it's not something that is authoritative. Well, there's a problem with that. We'll come back to it in just a second with that not being authoritative. Then if we go to 1 Corinthians 7, 12, notice what he says. He says, but to the rest, I say, not the Lord, uh, that if any brother has a wife who is an unbeliever, and she consents to live with him, he must not divorce her. So here's another issue. It's a controversial topic. And so the question is, when he makes a statement that I say, not the Lord, I, not the Lord, does that mean that it was just Paul's own assessment, Paul's own words, but they don't carry the same weight? Well, a couple of things. One, Peter makes a statement who is also an apostle who walked with Jesus. Notice what he says in 2 Peter 3.16. He says, as also in all his letters, speaking about Paul, Peter is speaking about Paul, and notice what he says, speaking in them of these things in which are some things hard to understand or difficult to understand, which the untaught and unstable distort, as they do, also the rest of scripture to their own destruction. So notice that Peter is equating what Paul has stated, even though the people either can't understand it or don't like it, which we see sometimes here. Peter equates what Paul says as scripture. So that has to include what he says in first uh, in first Corinthians 7, 12, as well as what he says in first Timothy 2, 12. Now think about this. We go back to it. He says, I, but I say not the Lord. Remember, this is the very same Paul who is moved by the Holy Spirit. Remember the, the scriptures that we have, the revelation that we have even the, the revelation that hadn't been put, that, that pen had been put to paper yet, these revelation, these men speaking, including Paul, including Peter, they are, as the Bible says, moved by the Spirit. Now, this is Peter making this statement. Peter says that no prophecy or no revelation of Scripture, even what's being written now, is a matter of one's own interpretation. For no prophecy ever was made. Now, he makes this distinction between what's being written now as well as what's been written now, what hasn't been written with what has always been or what was given in the past. For no prophecy or no revelation was ever made by an act of human will, but men moved by the Holy Spirit spoke from God. So when Paul is speaking, in this case, as a scripture, he's speaking because he's being moved by God. So we have to take what he's saying as being authoritative. Remember, all scripture is inspired. So what Paul says, that includes the all scriptures. It's inspired. It is God breathed, breathed out by who? By God. This is literally the work of the Holy Spirit through the pen of Paul, through the pen of Peter, through the pen of John, and so forth. So when Paul makes these statements, Paul wants this to be understood. As a matter of fact, something we need to understand about some of these letters. These letters, especially the ones that are addressed to the churches, 
are addressed for the church, but are also wanting to be moved around, at least from the ones that we see from Paul. For example, in Colossians 4.15, he says, greet the brethren. Now, this is a letter to the, to the church in Colossians or Colossae. Greet the brethren who are in Laodicea and also in Nympha and the church that is in her house. Uh, when this letter is read among you, so in other words, take this letter, read it amongst the people, uh, have it also read in the church of the Laodiceans, and you, for your part, read my letter that is coming from Laodicea. So here we see an example where Paul is including in his instructions to take this letter and to read it and then pass it along. Sometimes he would say that to the people, we would believe he said to the people that are taken, he would give it to them by hand. And that person is taking that with the instructions so that letter might be read there, but it also may be heard of someplace else. That's kind of how scripture was. And so what Paul was making a statement for, uh, that's for everyone. Same thing with Peter. Now, when it comes to what he's telling Timothy, the letters that are given to Timothy are not, were not initially written for him to give to the church. Now, we obviously, as a church, we have that as our guidance, especially for someone who's in ministry as Paul is training Timothy and, and having Timothy train other people, he said, I do not allow, I do not, I do not allow a woman to teach or to usurp authority over men. So here are these pastoral epistles where he's telling Timothy, these are the rules. And if you notice after first Timothy two comes first Timothy three. So immediately after him making that statement, he gives the qualifications of a pastor or the elders and then the deacons. That's why this flows the way it does. So when Paul says, I, I do not allow, or I say not the Lord. He's not saying that God is not on on uh, on par with what he's saying, that God is not for what he's saying. All he's simply saying is that I say this, not the Lord, because the Lord didn't cover that. As a matter of fact, the bulk of what we have in the New Testament, a lot of what we have, I should say, not the, I wouldn't say the bulk, but a lot of what we have concerning our living, especially concerning the church, the Lord didn't speak on those things. He didn't speak on those things, but then we've got Paul that would speak on those things. Then we've got Peter speaking on, the, on those things. We've got James and John, Jude. So we've got people who are still moved by the Holy Spirit, which is God, speaking, whereas God in flesh, Jesus, did not speak on those things. So we cannot come back and, and differentiate between what the Lord is doing in Peter, Paul, James, and John from what he was doing previous to the cross. This is still a, uh, a continuous work that he's doing. There is continuity between what's happening in the Gospels, what's happening in Acts, what's happening in uh, the epistles, the letters, and so forth. So when Paul makes a statement, all he's simply saying is that the Lord just did not say it verbally out of his mouth during his earthly ministry. That's all we take that as. Not that he's saying something different or in opposition to what Jesus said. Amen. Amen.